What's up guys, I'm Coda Camera, and today I'm gonna to talk about how to build a bigger chest. So this video is gonna be aimed towards skinny guys and hard gainers because I myself am naturally really skinny and I'm gonna talk a little bit about my experience, what's worked for me on uh, building a bigger and stronger chest. The first step I have is to make sure you warm up using the bar. I can't tell you how many times I walk into the gym and see people just throw on a plate or two and then just start benching. You really want to use the bar just for 10 reps or so just to get your muscles warm and to ensure that you have proper form because before you start lifting heavy and that will prevent injury and um, make your form better and in the long run you'll be able to lift more than you would if you didn't warm up before. The second tip I have is to not focus on how many plates are on the bar or how much you can lift right away. That will come with time. Really focus on having a full range of motion in your lifts, especially your compound lifts. And that will allow for progressive overload and you being able to lift more weight and get stronger, faster. Slowly but surely adding resistance will allow your muscles to adapt to that heavier weight and then you'll be able to increase your weight um, and lift more. The third tip I have is to train your chest twice a week like in a push-pull legs program because that will allow for enough time to recover and you'll be able to lift more weight. Now the fourth tip, I'm talking about sets and reps that are good to, uh, to increasing your weight and adding more muscle to your chest. Um, most would agree that three to four sets and eight to 12 rep range is the best for hypertrophy and that allows for the most time under tension which is the amount of time that your muscles placed under stress and research shows that around 20 seconds is sufficient to build muscle and an increase endurance which is around 10 repetitions. The fifth tip I have is to focus on isolation movements. So compound movements like bench press are great for overall muscle gain but to really hit the three separate strands of your chest or the three separate muscle fibers you want to focus on isolation exercises to hit each one and to increase your overall mass. So there's three main strands kind of the bottom fibers that run up here, the middle fibers that run across, and your upper chest, so your upper fibers that run down. All right, so now I'm gonna talk about my favorite and most effective exercises that have worked for me based on all I just said. So the first is bench press. Um, even though it's a compound movement, which will work other muscles like your triceps or your front delts, it will get a lot of blood pumping in your chest, so it's definitely a must to include in your workout. Second exercise are dips, specifically weighted dips, because that will um, help hit the lower, like your lower, um, your lower strands and muscle fibers to really develop full and round pecs. It will also prevent like sagginess. The next exercise and one of my all time favorites are flies, and this is a really good stretch because it allows for the muscle fibers to be stretched to the max and expand, which tears apart the fibers so they grow back bigger and stronger and it gives you full uh, pectoral muscle development and this is why body you see bodybuilders with these huge full pecs you can also do flies with cables at different um, with different variations and at different angles but I personally like doing flies with dumbbells on a bench better because I just feel more of a stretch and get a better range of motion all right so the last exercise are um, dumbbell presses at different levels of incline. And I just like doing this because I can, it, um, it allows me to hit my upper chest and I usually do them for around five sets of 12. All right, so the sixth tip I have is to shock the muscle. Um, and you do that by including supersets, drop sets, pyramid sets, or schemes into your workout. And so that way your muscle will be shocked and you, it will, get used to a certain movement pattern or a certain exercise that you do every ch every chest day. And that will allow your muscles to adapt and then thereby get stronger. You can also shock the muscle by adding or subtracting weight or adding and subtracting reps. And lastly, if you want an at-home chest workout routine, I didn't have access to a gym during quarantine, so I did a lot of research and tried a lot of stuff out and developed a pretty good program that I can share with you guys. So let me know in the comments down below if you wanna see that. All right, so subscribe if you want more videos like this. Um, I'm still kind of uncomfortable talking to a camera and I know this might be a little bit awkward, but 
hopefully I get better with the more videos that I film. So if you could bear with me, because I do know a lot about fitness and I want to share that with you guys. I just need to get more comfortable talking. And because I really made this channel for the purpose of helping you guys reach whatever fitness goal you might have. So also comment whatever fitness goal or any other goal that you're trying to achieve so that I can hopefully make videos to help you guys reach those. All right, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.